Hello students! Welcome back to my Estrong Techie YouTube channel! Today, we are going to have Grade 10 Science, Quarter 1, Week 2 Lesson, Plate Boundaries. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to describe the different types of plate boundaries, differentiate the types of convergent boundaries, and identify the places, plates that lie on the different types of boundaries. So, stay tuned and keep on watching! Plate tectonics is a theory that explains the surface of the Earth is broken into large and small lithospheric plates that are moving constantly and slowly. The size and position of these plates change as years pass by. They move against each other at their edges causing intense geologic activity such as earthquakes, volcanism, and mountain building. In our previous video lesson, you are done with the plate tectonics and its relationship to the distribution of earthquake epicenters, active volcanoes, and major mountain belts. If you haven't watched this video lesson, check out the link in the description box below. Today, this video will provide you the information that will help you understand plate boundaries. But first, let's define what is plate boundaries. Plate boundaries are the lines at the edges of the different pieces of the lithosphere. Remember class that lithospheric plates are moving due to the convection current in the Earth's interior. These plates interact with each other at their boundaries and these interactions lead to various geological phenomena. The interaction or movement causes the formation of plane boundaries namely divergent, convergent, and transform. Let's talk about them one by one. Let's have first divergent boundary. It is formed when two tectonic plates move apart from each other creating tension. This movement creates new crust as magma rises from the mantle to solidify at the surface. The Earth's surface is cool enough to solidify the magma that rose thus creating new oceanic crust or seafloor. A divergent boundary is also called constructive boundary. The mid-ocean ridge is formed by the divergence between oceanic plates while continental reef valley is formed between continental plates. Reef valley can also be found at the bottom of the ocean where seafloor spreading occurs. Both the formation of the mid-ocean ridge and reef valley have the occurrence of an earthquake. Example of divergent boundaries is the mid-Atlantic ridge where the Eurasian plate and the North American plate are moving apart forming a new oceanic crust. Next, we have convergent boundary. It is formed when two plates move toward each other. This boundary has three types. We have the oceanic plate, continental plate boundary. We also have two oceanic plates boundary and two continental plates boundary. In oceanic continental plates boundary and two oceanic plates boundary, the oceanic plate bends downward into the mantle through the process called subduction. Subduction is formed when the collision leads the one plate being forced beneath another. It can also cause the plates to crumple and fold leading to the formation of mountain ridges. In two oceanic plates boundary, island volcanic chain is formed parallel to the trench. These two types of boundary, the oceanic and continental and the oceanic oceanic plates, have volcanic activity because the descending plate melts and causes magma to rise. On the other hand, the two continental plates converging results to the formation of compression zone. Example of this is the Himalayas, where the Indian plate is colliding with the Eurasian plate. So class, that is convergent boundaries. Now let's talk about the third one, transform fault boundary. It is formed when two tectonic plates are sliding past each other and it is also called strike slip fault. Rocks that line the boundary split into pieces as the plates slip at each other. A crack is then formed creating an undersea canyon or linear fault valley. Example of this is the San Andreas Fault in California, where the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate slide past each other. 
Understanding these boundaries help explain why certain areas are more prone to earthquakes, volcanic activity, and mountain formation. Each time a boundary creates different geological features and processes based on how the plates interact. Now, let's have an activity and see if you really understand our lesson for today. So, help me complete this table. What can you say about the arrows? The direction of motion or the movement of plates are away from each other. And this is what we call divergent. That's correct. Example of this is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge where the Eurasian plate and North American plate are moving apart. Very good class. Now, let's have the second row. Two plates come together, one sliding under the other, or both are rising up. So, the direction of movement is toward each other. And it is called convergent boundary. That's correct. Example of this is the Himalayas where the ancient plate is colliding with the Eurasian plate. That's correct, class. Now, let's have the last one. It says here, transform fault boundary. What can you say about the direction or movement of the arrows? They are slide past each other. That's correct. So, the motion is two plates slide past each other. Example of this is the San Andreas Fault. Good job, class! Let's have another one. Help me complete this paragraph with the correct term. The picture shows two plates which are, that's correct, oceanic plate and continental plate. That's correct. Now, the oceanic plate subducts. And the bending of plate downward into the mantle is the process called subduction. That's correct, class. And this type of convergent boundary is what we call oceanic continental plate boundary. Now let's proceed to the next picture. The picture shows, what can you say about the picture? It shows oceanic, oceanic convergent boundary. That's correct, class. It happens when... Two oceanic plates are moving towards each other. The region where one oceanic plate is pushed below is called, what is this called? It is called subduction zone. That's correct. This zone is marked by a dip trench in the ocean floor, known as the oceanic trench. In some cases, the tectonic forces associated with subduction can lead to the formation of back arc basins behind the Volcanic Island Arc. That's correct, class. Now, let's proceed to the last picture. The picture shows two plates, which are continental plate and another continental plate. Instead of one plate sinking beneath the other, the collision results in the compression. That's correct. Compression and crumpling of the Earth's crust. This leads to the formation of mountain ranges and continental cross thickening that's correct class very good for helping me answering our activities now let's sum up all of our discussion today divergent boundary is formed when two tectonic plates move apart from each other creating tension Convergent boundary is formed when two plates move toward each other. And we have three types of convergent boundary. These are oceanic plate, continental plate boundary, two oceanic plates boundary, and two continental plates boundary. Lastly, we have transform fault boundary. It is formed when two plates are sliding past each other. And that's it for our lesson for today. I hope you learned something new in our lesson. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click the notification bell button for more video lessons. Shout out to all our grade 10 students, to all our supporters who always watch our video lesson. Thank you so much. I appreciate all your comments. And watch out our next video lesson. Bye class!